This is Sighting In with Shooting USA, awarded Best Outdoor Program by the National Shooting Sports Foundation. So far, hundreds of rounds have been fired in practice, and for many of the students, there are new techniques to try out. So now the AMU instruction is over, and the training ranges have been converted into courses of fire for the kids to tackle. The instructors are now the range officers, and John is ready to cover the mini-match. Day three is the competition. A mini-match to use the new skills against the clock. Kelsey Price is reaping the benefits of her revised grip. Her run on the stage looks smooth and ends with great hits on the targets. Jacob Huggins puts together a clean run on the first stage, one that would surely make his grandfather proud, his first instructor. Sarah Drake cruises through the stage with her bright yellow CZ. Sarah is extremely accurate, and her scores are the proof. Last but not least, two alpha. Two alpha. All scored. Actually, three alpha. <laughs> <laughs> no extra credit here. Over on the next stage, A-class shooter Nick Santiago is no stranger to the competition, and his run here shows it. Smooth and composed is what instructor Max Michelle likes to see. That was a good run. You were very relaxed all the way through it. You started getting a little flushed with the yeah. steel there. Remember in your last position, remember at my station, I was, in, I was really talking about follow through. Mm -hmm. I make you guys hold the gun up and I tell yeah. you to take it down when I told you to. The last, the last target on that steel, you shot your last shot, you brought the gun down. Yeah. Remember, it's not a race to bring it down, right? Mm -hmm. Just keep it up there. You look very relaxed. That was an excellent run. Another excellent run on this stage is turned in by open shooter Sarah Irish. Using her proven accuracy, Sarah burns the stage down with a great time. But Sarah is not the only fast open shooter here. All of the students are showing great improvement in their speed on the challenging courses of fire. And after everyone has had a run on the stage, the instructor makes a pass. The first thing you will notice is Max's raw speed. But remarkably, the kids are not that far off his world-class pace. The last stage of this mini-match will involve a test of the student's ability to load on the move, in addition to all of the other skills from the clinic. Tori Nanaka has all of the skills needed for this challenge, driving her M&P to a quick time. Good shooting, good shooting. Clear. Clear. And it down, hosted. Time, 1922. Nice Fastest well time. One of the smallest shooters taking part in the mini match is Wyatt Gibson. The young limited shooter has great accuracy as he moves through the course of fire. The success of the teaching is evident in all of the students and the Colonel sees the value. Taking the uh, members of the armed marksmanship unit that are on the combat shooting team, uh, national record holders uh, and having them work with kids. Uh, it's been something we've wanted to do for a long time. Uh, what the kids will take out of this today are not just the lessons on how to shoot well, uh, they're also getting the lessons on uh, responsibility, uh, safety, um, respect, respect to the weapon. Those are lessons learned that will be beneficial um, all along throughout their life. I think the colonel hit it right on the head. These life lessons do go beyond just shooting. Thanks, John. Great story. And you can be sure John has all the names in his notebook to see who may end up in the super squad at the Nationals in the years ahead. Well, coming next today, new revolvers from Smith & Wesson after the break. Shooting USA is brought to you by Smith & Wesson. Safety, security, protection, and sport. And by CCI, the leader in rimfire ammunition. And by Henry Repeating Arms, made in America and priced right. Out of all you 